Hi everyone, this is the first of many more Lila videos to come because I think Lila Patel is in a decent position post most wanted, believe it or not, even though criminals are on the down. Um, yeah, this this is mostly similar to, or rather, I won't say mostly. It's somewhat. It takes most ideas, most of its ideas from Dave Hoyland's uh, uh, Waltz, uh, Endless Waltz deck, but I've added some of my own twists and adjusted it for a post most wanted. Uh, well, where Desperado costs one influence, it is a heavy restriction, and because of that, there are some gaping holes in my deck tech. But it's okay. I'm up against Gagarin, not a very rich corp, and he has a leaky R and D. So I hope to be able to exploit um the porousness of R and D. If I can find an agenda of R and D, I'm going to be in a good spot, because I can bounce the HQ eyes and abuse his open HQ. But right now, I'm just collecting lots of sucker tokens, which is extremely important for good runs later on. And I see a tour guide. Looking at the assets that he has read so far, you can be very certain that my opponent is running an asset heavy deck and tour guide is going to be a big problem. But more on that later. Right now, um, looking at the number of assets that are out, you can be more or less pretty certain that I'm not going to be able to trash them at all. My economy is um, horrible. I didn't. I kept my opening hand because it had a career fair and I drew into the Katie Jones rather quickly. But I was compelled to run so often because I had early Desperado and Data Sucker that I wasn't able to load KD until now, which makes me quite slow. Uh, this is a very slow start and this means that I cannot contest his remotes at all, which is going to be a big issue. I need to win quickly before his remotes overwhelm me. And he's showing a, quite a lot of influence. The yellow cards, red cards, purple cards, lots and lots of one point influences, they add up uh, very quickly. So I, at this point, I suspect that he's probably not running kill. He might be um, leveraging on asset economy to see Scorch, but that's quite unlikely. Um, more likely, he's running Ash, and that's how he scores genders. Because with this many remotes, I don't see how he's able to pack enough eyes to actually properly score genders. So here, I'm forced to zoom the screen out because he created enough remotes to score a hostile takeover. And then he triggers two team sponsorships. Worry about that hostile takeover that you just saw? We here at Hasbro Royce Shift Division are proud to announce that the takeover is going to be used for completely charitable purposes. You heard it, Wayland Consortium isn't doing evil at all. With joint investment into cutting edge technology, we can now offer greater space exploration possibilities by sponsoring Turtle Bags with hardy spacesuits that allows them to operate even in a vacuum. Brought to you by Shift, our subsidiary of Hasbro Royce. Well, if you thought that was annoying, think of what Lila feels right now. Oh man, killing two birds with one stone. Not only did they remove the bad publicity generated by Hostile Takeover, they managed to trigger Turtle Bags as well. Insane stuff. Well, at least as a consolation prize, I get to bounce on uh, something with Lila's ability. And um, I think I bounced the R&D ice here so that I can get an R &D, a couple of R&D runs in. A Cyberdex virus suite puts an end to my data sucker. Uh, collection. So I continue running and I see a Jackson Howard which I don't bother to trash because that already is one on the board. I continue collecting money at this point this is very important. I need to stay ahead of economy so I can actually contest his remote servers when he finally does choose to create one with ice. This is pretty crucial because um, uh, yes there is no way I can contest his uh, asset spam, so the next thing I can do is to basically prevent him from scoring agendas, which Wayland is horribly bad at. Wayland doesn't like scoring agendas. Alright, um, I finally find my security testing. This will be very important. This will allow me... Oh, never mind. Security testing's gone. Hello, corporate town. Oh man, I wish I got that security testing. It is 3 credits per click against Gagarin. That is so huge. Well, I'll have to make do with Katie Jones, and he tries to score an agenda behind a double ice remote, so I find an NAPD after playing the uh, sneaky sneak door. Bouncing his um, agenda into his hand, I suspect that's an agenda because he placed two eyes there. I go in for the sneak door and I find the agenda he was trying to score, the Project Atlas. I bounce the eyes on Corporate Town and run the Corporate Town so he cannot trash my KD Jones. Combo! Wombo! Wombination! So, take that! Um, you think th team sponsorship is the only card in the game that allows you to combo? Well, Leela's combo completely disrupted my opponent's tempo and I scored 4 points off of it. So now I'm halfway to victory. That changed the entire setup of the game. Um, yeah, and those were probably the only two agendas in his hand. 
or rather available to him because with two daily business shows ticking off, there's no reason for him to hold agendas in hand. That surprise Nick Dog really caught him off guard and this is why Leela is so powerful. Well, unfortunately, from now on I'll have to win via R&D digs because there's no reason for him to take agendas into hand unless he wants to score them, at which point he'll chuck it into his remote. So at this point, my win main win condition will be via um, R&D interfaces, but in the meantime, he scores yet another hostile takeover. Wayland's recent takeover of the Christian region on the moon is a resounding victory for all sports fans around the world. Here at SHIFT, we fully believe that clones are people too, and they should be entitled to play sports just as everyone else is. We are so committed to this purpose that we have set up a Logi sports research facility within the newly built corporate town in Chrysium. Fear not about lack of defences on the moon here, because we at SHIFT Division are working round the clock to install counter-intrusion measures such that no pesky saboteur can disrupt our mission to provide the latest and greatest in space sports technology. SHIFT your future, only at SHIFT. <sighs> That's so annoying. Now I have to deal with the recurring Christian and HQ. Goodness me, what have I done to deserve this? Well, I'm gonna bounce the HQ ice and hope to join her account siphon, which I do. Lucky for me. So I'm going to run, trash his Christian, and then siphon him down. As I said, I highly doubt he has enough deck slots to fit the Scorch package inside, given how many thousand assets he's running. So I feel pretty safe about floating tags. And he can trash my KD all he wants because I have been keeping the duplicate copy of KD in my hands because I knew this moment would come where I'm forced to float tags and having a backup KD is absolutely essential. So now I have the option of clearing tags or floating them and going for the all out siphon route. I choose to clear tags because I really cannot afford to um, <coughs> float at this point. The problem is I'm still not that close to victory and more importantly, I still have a lot of daily cast and earthrise hotels in my hand, I mean in my deck, sorry, that I haven't played yet. So floating tags will not be beneficial to me at all um, as the game goes on. So um, he has still has no eyes on HQ, but he's just um, getting stuff, uh, <coughs> getting lots of stuff going. Um, R&D and the remote are pretty well protected, and at this point, he's installing so many remote assets that I'm forced to downsize my browser, my zoom again. So now um, everything's going to be end size and here, this is where the public supports start to rain uh, terror. They are a ticking time bomb. The problem is, as you can probably expect, team sponsorships will recur public supports infinitely until the game ends. So at this point I'm forced to go faster, which is why I'm installing the Earthrise Hotel right now. I need to draw into more money. I need to draw into uh yeah, just more money. Because with more money I can install my RD interfaces and actually go ham on R D. That is what I'm looking to do. Because I don't have enough money now to get my RD interfaces going. But my players were ported because I left a Lizzie Mills on the table. I completely forgot that it trashes Earthrise Hotel. I intended to kill the Lizzie Mills. I knew that it was a threat to my location, which is Earthrise Hotel, but I forgot, and this is going to cause me a lot of trouble. I really, really needed that card draw. So bad. Maybe to find my second security testing, or at least a daily cast. At this rate, I'm not going to be able to get any money going. How am I going to compete against this corp? He's so filthy rich. I guess I have to go into his remote, but there's another problem. I neither could the card draw because I haven't found any special orders. I have a corroder and I have a fairy, but I don't have a decoder. Not until this turn anyway. I drew into my dog, but it's a bit too late. With only 8 credits, I can't expect to install corroder, dog, and run his remote. Look at his remote, there is a new card inside and you can bet it's another atlas. The atlas is very very bad news for me because this means that in conjunction with the two public supports that are taking down right now, I will lose in 2 turns. And there's very little I can do about it. So I just have to let it go because I highly doubt I can get into his server um, given my setup. So I'm just going to let him score that agenda, which is not an Atlas, it's a Kronos project, which doesn't matter because I don't run same old thing in this deck. The Kronos project doesn't matter so much because I don't run any form of recursion at all. What matters the most, however, yep, you guessed it, is more product placement. Welcome to Shift. We strive to bring you an apparel line so long that it stretches off the table and confuses the hell out of our opponents. 
We are proud to announce that with our recent partnership with Wayland Consortium, we have achieved this, and our extended apparel lines are going to come down to a store near you today. Too many outfits? Can't find exactly which one you're looking for? No worries! Wayland Consortium's tour guides will be all around to guide you through our very detailed catalogue. Pre-order your latest outfits right now, and prepare to shift your future, only at Shift, a proud subsidiary of Hasbro Roy. Well, isn't that obnoxious? Well, I, the tour guide that I saw on R&D earlier, it's going to come back to haunt me pretty soon, but at least I do have a couple of fairies on the board and they break tour guide for zero, regardless of how many subroutines it has. So at least I have that uh, to uh, co console myself with. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep hitting his hand because I bounced uh, what seems to be an agenda that he was trying to score in the remote, but I wasn't able to get it. Three runs, I saw three in turns. Out of the two cards in his hand, I hit the same in turns all three times. So even though I was able to use Leela's ability to bounce that agenda into his hand, I failed to get it into his hand, and now he gets to score it. He chucks it into the uh, fortified server, and I'm left to fend for myself, with only a few credits to my name. Well, I guess it's time to throw out the breakers that I've been saving up this entire game for. Sneak door is done here. I'm going to install the dog and the corroder and make a Hail Mary on the remote, hoping to snag that game winning Atlas. So I'm going to break the spider web for 3 credits and the tour guide forces a fairy out. The next tour guide forces another fairy out. I've seen all your apparel lines, I'm done with it. It's a public support. It's a freaking public support. I... I... <sighs> I concede. I concede. This this is this is too much for me. That 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 that's just rubbing salt in the wound. <sighs> you got me. You got me good. Well, yes. After touring the entire grounds of t the the shift or whatever crap that is, I'm now completely dot poor. I found my second security testing, but isn't that way too late? At least I'm gonna get three more credits out of this sec testing. In the meantime, he quadruple advances the card in the remote because it's an NAPD. He completely forgot that he did have one bad pup from trashing my Earthrise Hotel with Lizzie Mills, and as such, he needed to advance it all the way to 5. Which gives me one more turn to try to close out the game. I'm on 4 points, don't forget. I still have a shot. Well, not really. If you see the advance card on R&D, you know that only R&D and the remote have an agenda right now. Trying for R&D is pretty useless because I know that that's a change link at the base of the server. But that's my only option. I know the remote's completely locked out for me because I have no fairy recursion. I'm not getting through a tour guide with 10 subroutines. So I'll just go for R&D instead. The quandary is easy to break, the spider web costs a bit of money, and I'm pretty sure the last ice in there is a change link that's going to kick me out of the server. Sure it is, for strength sentry, can't do anything about that. Well played to my opponent, his aggressive advertising strategy paid off big time right there. Boy, what a mess that was. I was well and truly outplayed and outdecked. <sighs> this dealer deck just cannot cope with this sort of deck. There's so many hard counters that he has against me. I don't run bank job so or drive by, so his remote asset spam got uh, unchecked, and it's very hard to tread water even with a desperado. You really need more money than that to keep his assets in control. Not to mention that I don't run Parasite, so those tour guides were the be all and end all for me. And if that wasn't enough, the nail in the coffin was the recurring corporate town, which was so oppressive. And I think it's pretty really genius that he included it, because now in a world where prepaid, the prepaid uh, voice pad economy engine is not an option, almost everyone has to rely on resource based economy to get uh, things going. Almost every single deck right now will run some combination of KD Jones and Lady Cars because that's really the best source of money. Um, with run based criminal, you can get away with security testing, but even that's a resource. So, a lot of runners are resource based right now, which makes Corporate Town a high value resource. Expect to see more of it in the future. This is a very good include from my opponent, uh, well thought out by him. And because I lost, I'll have to hand it over. To our sponsors. This episode was sponsored by Shift. Can't get enough of the apparel line feature in this video? Well, wait no longer. Book your very own personal tour guide right now for the low, low price of just 10 credits. We guarantee you won't be disappointed at all. Have a great day. We strive to bring you an. We strive to bring you an apparel line so long that you. We strive to bring you an apparel.
We strive to bring you in a parallel line so long that it stretches off the table and confuses the hell out of our opponents and leaves me out of breath because I'm speaking too fast like a salesperson. <laughs>